Let's talk about steel frames, floor joists, and plumbing. We are in one of our homes that we're doing a pretty aggressive rehab on. Uh, the person that uh, we brought got this from uh, was doing some pretty extensive work and then just left it. <laughs> so I figured since it is pretty open here, um, it'll give you a better idea as to kind of what we're talking about when we're talking about the steel frame versus the floor joists versus like plumbing connections and things like that. So keep this in mind. Um, we have more things to go through than a standard home would. So if you think about your standard setup for a home that has a basement or even a crawl space, they have their floor joists set up and then they have, you know, their, their, um, other types of, of, uh, supports underneath there, whether it's on piers or whether it's a uh, foundation perimeter with a crawl space or whether it ends up being an actual basement, right? So there's a variety of different setups. With a manufactured home, the additional variable that we have on top of our floor joist system is our actual towing frame, okay? This is the frame that the home actually sits on. This is the frame that is what goes down the road. So what you can actually see here is right here is the marriage line. And so what you have here is actually the connection point. And so that's the reason why you have double uh, pieces of wood down the side, double floor joists, to help with the bracing of that. And that's the way it should be um, when you have the marriage line in place. Because what happens is, is it gets more aggressive off the sides, as you can see, right? It slants down, gets thicker, and then slants back up. That is the towing portion one side, this is the towing portion on the other side. So that still frame allows the home to not have tons of, of torque and should not have tons of torque and uh, movement as it's rolling down the road. It helps with stiffness of it and also helps with the integrity of the structure while it's set up on site. If a mobile home is set up incorrectly or not re-leveled on a consistent basis, what can happen is that still frame could actually torque, okay? Can I, just like a, when a car's in an accident, could end up torquing the frame. These can actually torque, and in some cases they can be repaired, gets expensive. In other cases, it actually ends up being totaled. <laughs> There's not a lot they can do. In some cases, what you'll have is somebody that is talented enough that they'll take the frame and make it work with the floor joists on top of it. We've had scenarios where a home that was supposed to be a rectangle ended up being a diamond shaped and we had to get it back in the square. So weird things like that can sometimes happen with these manufactured homes. When you're looking to add plumbing fixtures and modify things like that, you have to take into consideration where your steel framing is versus your floor joists. And you can see that they go in different directions. So a lot of cases what we have to do is we have to take a look at the cut holes in and see how things are blocked. And in some cases you have cross blocking to help with resecuring an area that was more vulnerable. Or you end up having double blocking that can happen with an area that was more vulnerable. So from time to time, you're going to run across some different variables that will affect how you can end up running your plumbing. So in some cases, what ends up happening is, obviously we're not gonna go through the steel, okay? That's the essentially the, the steel I-beam of the support for our house in the basement, okay? We're not gonna go through that. We, in some cases, might have to build things up a little bit, and I've done another video in the past about that, and actually be able to be able to have the correct slope for drainage for our plumbing. So sometimes moving plumbing isn't a super simple thing. Now, the benefit that we have here is that plumbing was originally in place here, and as long as they haven't drastically modified it too, too much, we can actually put, and we are planning on putting, another bathroom in here and then a closet over there back to what originally was to make it a 3-2. But in a general situation, if you're looking to add something as simple as what should be simple as adding a shower or a sink or something like that, in some cases, it will not be able to drain correctly because 
you might have issues with where your steel framing is versus your floor joists. So keep those things in mind when you've got your great plans for modifications, and especially if you have a contractor that has never worked on manufactured homes before, this could really throw them for a loop and it can cost you a lot of money if they really don't understand what they're looking at. So just wanted to give you some insights and input as to um, how to work with these things, how they're structured, how they're designed, and uh, basically some of the workarounds to be able to make some things happen from a remodeling standpoint. Make it a great day.